Dear students, in the last class, we studied about uh, types of uh, permanent tissue. That is a simple permanent tissue, parenchyma, parenchyma, and sclerenchyma. Okay, and then next, another one type of a uh, tissue that is called as a complex permanent tissue. Complex permanent tissue is of two types. That is a xylem and a phloem. So permanent tissue. What is permanent tissue? It is a mature, differentiated, mature, differentiated, and the cell which lost the capacity to divide. So those type of tissue is called as a permanent tissue. Is of two types. That is a simple and a complex permanent tissue. Simple is of a three types: parenchyma, parenchyma, and sclerenchyma. What are those structures and the functions of those are simple permanent tissue? And another we ask the statement. Okay, next there is a complex permanent tissue. Complex permanent tissue is of two types. That is a xylem and a phloem. Xylem. What is the main function of a xylem? The xylem it is helpful for the conduction of water, and phloem it is helpful for the conduction of the food, food material. Yeah. So this is all the important functions of the complex permanent tissues. That is a xylem and a phloem. Okay. Now is studying the structure of xylem. When come to the xylem, xylem is a one of the complex permanent tissue. It mainly consists of four xylem elements. I have already told that in a xylem there are the four xylem elements. That is the trachea, vessels, xylem fibers, and xylem parenchyma. Trachea, vessels, xylem fibers, and xylem parenchyma are the four xylem elements. First, that is the trachea. The tracheids are elongated, elongated tube-like structure. The tracheids is a elongated tube-like structure. It is also a dead, dead tissue. And it also, along with the conduction of water, the tracheids it also helps for the mechanical support to the plant. The tracheids are pointed at this or uh, tapering ends, and the cell wall, cell wall of the tracheids is a Thick cell wall. That is a liquefied thickening. Liquefied thickening means the cell wall is made up of deposited of a liquid. And tapering ends. Ends are uh, pointed ends are occurs in the tracheids. Uh, and next, these are all dead without the protoplasm. And the inner wall of the tracheids, the inner layer of the tracheid, which is very warm. The inner wall of the tracheids, which is very warm, is wrong. Yes, the tracheids can be classified into different types. There is a, there is a annular, pitted, skeletal, reticulate. So these are all the different types of our tracheids. But in but in the lab, in detail, a bit of it. When we finish the tracheid, the tracheid is a long tube-like structure with a absence of a protoplasm. It is a dead tissue. And the inner wall of the tracheid, which is very thin, very thin, and the cell wall is a liquefied tracheid. So this is the structure of tracheid. And next come to the vessel. The vessel is a long cylindrical tube-like structure. It is a long cylindrical tube-like structure. It is made up of a number of vessels, cells. That is called as a vessel membrane. And vessels, in case there is a plant, it consists of a vessel. In case the plant it consists of a vessel, it understood that the plant it belongs to the angiosperm. Yeah, they plant clearly vessels. The our vessels in the plant understood the plant belongs to the angiosperm. And the vessels, it is a long, long, cylindrical tube-like structure. Cylindrical in their manner and which have a number of pores in their wall. So that is called as a perforation. It is called as a perforation. Small pores are an opening which is occurs in the vessels. So it is helpful for the pore, that pores. A pores it is also called as a pit. Pit that are here for the entrance of pit now. That is a sclerenchyma. timer. So small pores, pores which is also occurs in the vessels. So that has pores which is helpful for the conduction of the wall. Uh, water transport can be helpful there. And one end of the vessel is connected with the another one end of the vessel. End to end connection is there. So that end to end connection, which is helpful for the conduction of water from bottom to bottom, like uh, from root to the tip, that is a shoot tip. So it is the structure of vessels. Vessels is a long cylindrical tube-like structure which consists of a number of uh, pores that. 
that is called as a corporation. So that corporation is mainly able for the transport of water, water and minerals from soil to the aerial parts of the plant body. You know, bro, in the silent elements, there are the four xylem elements. There is vessel xylem phylum and the xylem phylum. But out of four xylem elements, the tapings and vessels is mainly involved in the conduction of water. Mainly the trade that is the water conducting tissue. Mainly in a xylem, out of four xylem elements, the tapings and vessels are the main water conducting tissues. And next come to the xylem fibers. The xylem fibers is nothing but the, the xylary elements which consists of a scleral thymus. Scleral thymus that is called as a xylem fibers. So especially fibers is there is a presence of inner scleral thymus. You know that there are the two types. One is a scleris and a fiber. Fiber is especially the uh, xylem which consists of a scleral fibers. So that is called as a xylem fibers. These are the cells which are in the thick cell wall. You know that the structure of fibers, thick cell wall, dignified cell wall, and the empty space that is called as a lumen. It is a dead and it gives a mechanical support to the plant. plant. Okay, next come to the there is a xylem parenchyma. Xylem parenchyma is nothing but a xylary element which consists of a parenchyma cell. It is called as a xylem parenchyma. The xylem parenchyma is one of the characteristics of the parenchyma cell. It is a living cell tissue and it is a cell wall is thin. It does not give any mechanical support to the plant plant. The main function of the xylem parenchyma along with the conduction of the water, it involves in the storage of food material. Yeah. And next there is a, in a xylem, in a xylem, based on the uh, size or the shape, there are the two types. One is a protoxyla and another one is a metoxyla. One is a protoxyla and another one is a metoxyla. What is proto? Proto, the name itself indicates proto means small, meta means large. So protoxyla is the first format, the first format primary xylem. The first form of primary xylem is called as a protoxylem. The later form of primary xylem is called as a metaxylem. Proto is small. Under protoxylem, they are smaller in size. Metaxylem is a larger in their size. So next, there is a distribution of proto and metaxylem in the parts of the plant plants. When we take as a in a stem, stem the protoxylem it lies towards the center. Like for example, when you take a, a weave, there is an anatomical weave, a circle at the corner. A circle at the there is a distribution of uh, vascular bundles. Vascular bundles are the distribution of First, there is a, when you take a xylem. Xylem at the there is a protoxylem. Protoxylem is a small size of xylem. In this, it is a close towards the center. Circle towards the big region, towards the center. And metaxylem, the metaxylem, large water cell, they lies towards the periphery. They lies towards the periphery. That condition is called as endarch. Endarch. Endarch is a condition which is only occurs in the stem. Stem and matra is there. Protoxylem lies towards the center. Metaxylem lies towards the periphery. For example, if you want to anatomical be ready to take up. Anatomical B. Ah, you know. So stem ala, so now we will know. Stem, when we take up stem, protoxyl. You know, for example, it is a metaxyl. This one is a protoxyl. The protoxyl is a smaller inside when compared to the metaxyl. So what is endarch means? What is endarch means? Protoxyl lies towards the center. Center kade kate. Now go proto. Metaxylem towards the periphery. So that condition is called as an endarch. Endarch. Endarch means it is a protoxylem lies towards the center and metaxylem lies towards the periphery. That is called as an endarch. And next, another condition that is called as a exarch. Exarch means vice versa. Vice versa to endarch. Like the under the first one, the proto, proto the the proto xylem, the proto xylem lies towards the periphery. Meta xylem lies towards the center. Atai the opposite. This stem is the opposite. That is the opposite of the root. 
ನೆನ್ಪಲ್ ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ಎಂಡಾರ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅಕರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಎಂಡಾರ್ ಚಂದ್ರಕ್ಷಣ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಚಂದ್ರಕ್ಷಣ ರೂಟ್ ಎಂಡಾರ್ ಚಂದ್ರೇನು ರೋಟೋ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ನೆಟಾ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಪೆರಿಫೆರಿ ರೂಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇನ್ ರೂಟ್ ರೂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೋನೇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅವರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೋ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಪೆರಿಫೆರಿ ನೆಟಾ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಂಡಾರ್ ಕಂಡ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇಷ್ಟು ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ 
another one is a phloem fiber the phloem fiber is also nothing but the that is a phloem element which consists of a sclerum dimorphs so that is called as a phloem fiber it gives a mechanical support to the plant body it is a dead tissue and it is a mechanical tissue and next we give a little phloem also there are the two types of phloem elements one is a metaphloem and a protophloem that is a, the first form of primary phloem the first form of primary phloem which consists of a narrow sieve tube narrow sieve tube so that is called as a primary phloem or as a protophloem that is a protophloem and the late, later formed sieve tube later formed sieve tube which having a, a bigger a bigger sieve tube bigger sieve tube so that, that is called as a metaphloem It is called as a metaphloem. It is to occur in the form complex tissues and uh, simple tissues. So we wish to make chart. We wish to make the reader to read the data. Tissue is of two types: meristematic tissue and permanent tissue. Meristematic tissue is a immature, undifferentiated, actively dividing cell. Permanent tissue is a mature, differentiated. Mature, differentiated, and the cell it lost the capacity to divide. So that is called as a permanent tissue. Based on the position and the location, it is of three types: apical, intercalary, and lateral. So in a permanent tissue, there are three two types: simple permanent and complex. Simple means group of similar cells performing a common function. Complex means group of group of dissimilar cells performing a same function. So in the simple there are three types: one is a parenchyma, one is a parenchyma, and the sclerenchyma. Complex permanent tissue is of two types: it is the xylem and the phloem. The main function of the xylem is a water conducting tissue, and it is a bidirectional, unidirectional, unidirectional. And phloem, the main function of the phloem is a food conducting tissue. It is a bidirectional or a multidirectional. Xylem it mainly consists of four xylemic elements: trachea, vessels, xylem parenchyma, and the xylem phloem. Phloem is also consists of four phloemic elements. That is a, a sieve tube, companion cells, and a xylem phloem. Phloem parenchyma and a phloem fiber. So in a xylem, out of four xylemic elements, trachea and vessels are involved in the conduction of water. And next, another important point that is a in case the plant it consists of a vessel, the plant it consists of a vessel, that plant. Indicates that the plant it belongs to the angiosperm. Angiosperm. And next, phloem. There are the two core phloemic elements. It is to occur in the form structure of tissues. The other one in the next stage we will learn that is a. This is called the classification. From the classification of tissue. And next, we study the overall the tissue system. It is just it is the tissue. Classification of tissue. Next, we study the overall the tissue system. Overall the tissue system is it include apical, intercalary, parenchyma, parenchyma, xylem, phloem. Where it is located? Where it is located? How they are formed? What are those functions? So another study matter will be that is a tissue system. Tissue, tissue, sorry, tissue system classification. Overall the tissue system they are classified into three types. That is the one is the epidermal tissue system. Vascular tissue system and ground tissue system. The students, this is studied in the next.